Hey everyone, it's Krutika. Welcome back to my channel. Hola from España. I'm in this place called Malaga in the south of Spain right now. So Spain wasn't originally part of my plan for this trip. I very randomly a couple of days ago decided to book tickets to Spain and here I am. I got here last evening but I was super exhausted so I didn't really vlog. Although I did walk around the city and take some clips so I'm going to insert a montage here for you to see what all I did last evening. I flew into Malaga after a very last minute change of plans and even though I was here in winter time the sun and warmth was such a pleasant change from the other cold places I'd been to on this trip I spent my first evening here just walking around and getting a feel of the place and it didn't take long for me to fall in love with this vibrant city I spent last evening just walking around and really loving the vibe of the city. It looks so beautiful. The weather is amazing. Also by the way, I'm staying in this building. That window there is my room. But anyway, I'm just walking around. Uh my hotel is in a really nice location. It's very centrally located, so everything is walkable from here. So I'm walking up to the Alcazaba, hopefully grab some breakfast along the way first because I'm super hungry. So let me tell you a bit about Malaga. Like I mentioned, it's in the south of Spain and it's in this region called Andalusia. Picasso was from Malaga, so that's one way to remember this place. So back in the day, this uh, whole region was invaded by the Arabs. So a lot of the buildings here have like an Arabic touch. And the place Alcazaba that I'm about to visit now uh, used to be a fortress back during that time. And eventually, I think it was invaded by the Romans, so uh, Christianity took over. This behind me here is the famous Cathedral of Malaga, which I will also be visiting later today. Also, yesterday I was talking to my brother and telling him I'm in Malaga in Andalusia and he was asking me if I'm going skydiving and I was like what why and then he reminded me that uh, in zindagi na milegi dobara they went to like Sevilla which I may also go to tomorrow by the way this whole trip is just me planning things the night before what I want to do tomorrow so tomorrow I may actually go to Sevilla let's see uh but yeah just for context this is that same region where they show in zindagi na milegi dobara ordered a quick croissant and some coffee for myself and are giving me palace vibes also this cafe is so cute they actually have like uh blankets and stuff over here if you're cold but yeah quickly going to finish my food and then head to alcazaba Okay, so slight change of plans. I wanted to visit the Alcazaba right now, but um, because I didn't plan this well, I didn't get a ticket in advance. And the queue to get a ticket is so long; easily going to take me an hour in the queue. So basically, I booked a ticket online now for a guided tour, which only starts at 4 p.m. So that gives me enough time to explore the rest of the city. So this behind me is the Alcazaba. I think this is the Roman theater. So we're going to be seeing this later today. But right now, I think I'm just going to walk around, maybe check out the cathedral. I'm not sure what I'm going to do so let's figure this out. The streets here in Malaga are so cute. I'm loving strolling around these streets. Malaga actually seems to be amazing for shopping. There are lots of like cute stores. Unfortunately, I don't have any like extra luggage allowance. So don't think I'm going to be shopping, but yeah, there are tons of like really cute stores here. So I've come to check out the museum. It's this building that you see behind me. Thankfully, I bought an online ticket so I can skip this crowd, but yeah, look at how long the line is. It goes all the way to the back there. But yeah, I got a ticket and an audio guide for myself, so let's go check out this museum. If you're an art enthusiast, you're in for a treat in Malaga. 
This is the Picasso Museum, which is dedicated to the legendary Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, who was born in this very city. It's housed in a beautiful 16th century palace, and walking through the halls filled with his masterpieces was awe inspiring. So Picasso actually spent the first 10 years of his life in Malaga and after that I think he moved to Barcelona but because he grew up here he really wanted his art to be displayed over here which is why a lot of his like famous artwork is displayed in this museum. Next I'm visiting the Malaga Cathedral also known as La Manquita which means one-armed lady in Spanish and it's called that because its construction started in the 16th century but was never actually completed. I'm inside the cathedral now and uh, there was an entry ticket to get in for 6 euros. They also had a more expensive ticket which covers the roof as well but the roof is shut right now so I'm just uh, gonna have to skip that. But oh my god this cathedral is so magnificent. So my ticket also comes with an audio guide which is amazing so I'm just gonna put on my earphones and check out this cathedral. So done checking out the cathedral and it was honestly so magnificent and so beautiful. My tour to the Alcazaba starts in one hour and I haven't had lunch yet so I need to get something to eat. Malaga because it's a coastal town is famous for its seafood and it has a lot of like tapas bars and stuff so because I'm vegetarian not really sure what I'm gonna eat and everything looks super crowded and packed. Today is a Sunday, I feel like I picked the wrong day to be here. So I have gotten the most non-Malaga meal ever, like a pizza slice, some dessert. And look at that, there's like a long line waiting for the next restaurant. So literally all the restaurants here are packed. So this is what I'm gonna have to eat. That meal wasn't the best, but it was perfectly timed because I'm already running late for my uh, tour of the Alcazaba. So quickly walking up to the meeting spot now. So made it on time and this group here is who I'm doing the tour with. So I've basically booked like a guided walking tour of the Alcazaba and the Roman theater. It was for 13 euros, but I think if you just stand in line and buy a ticket without a guide, it's only three and a half euros. So in case you're wondering, the Alcazaba, which you see behind me, is basically a fortress uh, from back in the Moorish rule, I think. I don't even know much about this place, so I'm interested in like learning more about the history. But this is actually the most uh, popular tourist attraction here in Malaga. So very excited to check it out. Well, here there were houses on this side. The Alcazaba is a true architectural gem and stands as a testament to Malaga's rich history. This ancient fortress overlooks the city and offers a glimpse into its Moorish past. As I climbed its historic walls and strolled through its lush gardens, I was transported back in time. The stunning views of the city and the Mediterranean Sea from the top were just unforgettable. done with the tour of the Alcazaba and oh my god it was amazing it's so beautiful super super crowded though so I found out that uh, up until Wednesday here they've got like a national holiday which is why a lot of people are here visiting Malaga uh, and that's why it's super crowded so it's just been bad timing that way but this place was totally worth visiting but anyway heading out from here right now and we'll see what to do next Okay, so I'm back in my room now. The time right now is 7 p.m. and I'm just trying to figure out what to do tomorrow because my hotel booking here is only till tonight. So my options are A, I could either spend another day in Malaga. I actually wanted to go to Sevilla, uh, like I mentioned earlier, but I found out that there's some holidays going on and everything is just really crowded. Sevilla is probably going to be even more crowded than Malaga because it's a bigger city. So that's probably not the best idea. Option two is I could go to Madrid. Option three is I could go to Barcelona. 
uh i'm planning to go to barcelona later anyway uh, like probably day after tomorrow if i stay in malaga so yeah i'm just going to spend some time and figure out uh, what is feasible okay so i just spoke to the people from my hotel and i got the same room that i'm staying at at a 50% discount so that's awesome so i'm staying here another day as evening approaches malaga transforms into a magical wonderland during the holiday season the streets come alive with dazzling lights festive decorations light shows and lively street performances So again all the restaurants have been super packed finally managed to get myself a table at this one restaurant which is actually indian and mexican and no points for guessing what i ordered i got myself some nachos super excited about this because i haven't had nachos in so long and i really wanted some comfort food also got myself some sangria and my table is right by the street so i'm just people watching and the weather is amazing so yeah i'm having a great time Nachos are so good. Good morning. It's a new day in Malaga. So today happens to be Constitution Day in Spain. I'm not really sure what happens for that, but a lot of things today are shut. But anyway, it doesn't really affect my plans because uh, most of the sightseeing things I wanted to see, I already covered yesterday. Today, I just wanted to have like a chill day and walk around the city, go to the beach, maybe eat some nice food. I haven't been able to go to like nice restaurants here because they've all been packed. So hopefully today, if I try my luck earlier, we'll see if I can get inside like one of the nicer restaurants here. Fingers crossed. this restaurant called El Pimpi which is really popular here they have a bunch of different branches this was the only one open right now but they only start serving food i think half an hour later so i've ordered some coffee for myself and the view from here is spectacular because it's right in front of the Alcazaba and the Roman theater so that is my view so my food is here i ordered some fried aubergines with honey dipped in beer or something like that so let's see what this is like the food is actually really good i in general like aubergines i don't think i've ever tried this dish before super delicious done here and this was such a nice meal i ended up spending a couple of hours here one of those hours i was just live on instagram but i really love the spot this table is amazing the view is great the weather is amazing and also i'm so glad i came early because right now i don't know if you can tell in the background there there's like a long line to get in but the roman theater is right here in front of me over there and i kind of missed checking it out yesterday so i'm going to go check that out right now and then just walk around malaga and we'll see what we end up doing I am now at the Roman Theater and the entry to this place is actually free so I don't think I can go up close to the Roman Theater itself but uh, we'll walk down this path and see where it takes us but basically before the Muslims uh, got here and the Christians got here the Romans were actually here and if you go to the Alcazaba uh, like I visited yesterday you can actually see columns there which are from Roman time so they decided to take some elements from this Roman theater and put that in the fortress so there are some columns there's a bathtub a few other elements as well so that's the cathedral i checked out yesterday here was the Roman theater and i was sitting somewhere there at El Pimpi having lunch i'm not sure if you can actually check out the Roman theater like i can see it from here but yesterday i feel like i saw people walk through it as well uh, it's probably shut today because of constitution day or maybe it opens up later in the day i'm not really sure but yeah this is a really nice view walked from there where you can see the cathedral that's the alcazaba and that there is the castle which uh, is shut today so i'm not really going there
No sé qué tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quién soy Contigo me siento en control Finally made it to the beach. So this neighborhood is called Malagueta, I think. And there's like this Malagueta sign here. The beach here is so nice, but not used to being at a beach when it's cold in a jacket and stuff. But yeah, just walking by the beach and it's so beautiful and so peaceful. <laughs> chilling by the beach and oh my god just something about beaches and the sound of waves is just so therapeutic to me so I'm really having the most amazing evening right now. Today evening has been so much fun. I've just been walking around all day and I picked up some random street food to eat. So I had this one dish with like, I don't know what it was, but it was like inside this giant potato. Uh, they put like a bunch of vegetables and cheese. It was super loaded. I couldn't finish it. And I picked up some churros for myself, which are honestly the best churros I've had. Mm, so freaking delicious. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna finish my churros, chill in my room for a bit and then uh, head outside again because it's my last evening in Malaga so I just want to walk around and they usually have like this light show and stuff happening at night so maybe I'll catch that again. <laughs> Buenos dias from me and my very limited Spanish skills. So today is my last morning in Malaga. But my plan for the day is that I'm heading to Barcelona next. So I haven't really booked um, a hotel or anything yet. Uh, because I have a Eurail pass, it's really easy to plan train travel. So I'm gonna use like one of my Eurail pass days and take a train from Malaga to Madrid and Madrid to Barcelona. But I do need like a train reservation, uh, which I can't seem to do online. I think in Spain you have to go do it at the station. So hopefully I'll get like a seat reservation there. But anyway, uh, I've got like an hour and a half to kill and my body is really craving for some healthy food. Hopefully I'll find like a smoothie bowl or something like that. I've just been eating so much unhealthy food these past few days. So I actually managed to find a place that serves smoothie bowls, got myself this really nice looking bowl and I've got an amazing view in front of me right by the window. That was such an amazing meal, feeling super energized, but it's time to leave Malaga. I'm honestly so sad to be leaving. Uh, I think I definitely 100% want to be back in Malaga because this place was just amazing. And I also want to do like Sevilla and Granada and a few other places. So hopefully next summer, if we can do a Euro trip again, uh, I can make that happen. But yeah, just walking back to my hotel now and checking out and heading to the station. I was going to include the train journey and sort of explain how train journeys work in Europe and stuff. I have a Eurail pass so I thought I'll explain that in this video. But I think this video is probably very long already so I'm going to split that into another video. So in the next vlog you'll see me travel from Malaga to Barcelona and I'll talk more about how the train journeys here work and how my Eurail pass works. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog now. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time from Barcelona. Bye!